Okay, let's do this. We have kind of an unboxing here. It's not a box, it's actually in an envelope here. We got some weight, and uh, it's probably not gonna be as exciting as you're hoping for. It's, uh, it's not gonna be any harps, but it's gonna be some things to make harps. Uh, this is from the Harpery, and this is my new supply of reed material. And I'm using a really dull, crappy knife to open up the package. So this should get me back in business with making my surge and flux harps. Uh, I've got a frame ready to go. This is my first on a backlog list of harps. So what have we got here? We have got some reed blanks for jaw harp musical instruments. Oh, cool. I've got a little pencil crayon sketch here. This, so this came from Jamie Bebb at the Harpery. And I think I've seen something similar to this on his back wall. Oh, that is awesome, dude. Cool. I am going to do something with that. And here is what I've been waiting for. So he sent me a few different sizes, as well as some just some scrap metal that he had lying around that I'm welcome to do what I will with. Uh, I don't have a proper shear to cut these to a nice taper and have a good edge on it and have not have them curl and that sort of thing. So he's been kind enough to do that for me, but he did send me some leftover scrap bits that I will do what I will with. So we've got, uh, there'd be some 1095, 20 thou thickness, 1095, 25 thou thickness, and 1075, 25 thou thickness. I tried out several different thicknesses and uh, hardnesses, and I've settled on the ones that I like, and just kind of a third option, which is the 20 thou. I prefer the thicker reeds. Um, they, I like a little bit of stiffness to it, as opposed to just being super, super flexible. Um, but the flexibility does give the, uh, <clears throat> it allows for a much lower tone because it, it vibrates much slower. So if somebody wants a super bassy harp, then that's gonna be kind of what I reserve those reeds for. Otherwise, I'm gonna stick with the 25 thou in the 95, 1095, and 1075 Rockwell. And the idea is that the 1075 is a little bit more flexible being a softer material, and I can kind of aim more for the bassier mid-ranger ones. Uh, mid-ranger. And, uh, and then the other thickness, or the other hardness for more snappier action, maybe faster play, higher pitches, I'm thinking. Um, I don't know. I'm still really kind of learning all the nuances of what you do to these to get different sounds so i'm not gonna open all three of these but it's basically the same basically what he has sent me here is a handful of pre-cut tapered reed blanks should be 10 here that means that's potentially 10 harps that can be made oh, here's one more and these are cut on his shear and I believe he's going to have a, he'll probably uh, upload a video of that. He, he made one before of his first batch that he made for me. But uh, yeah, these are, these will be them. That's where it comes from. So I am happy to get started again. And then this is cool. I'm glad he, uh, he gave me a little chunk of this. So I wonder if there's something I can do with it. Again, I don't have a proper shear, but I'm going to, we'll see. Maybe I can hand shear it or something but uh, definitely I definitely appreciate this Jamie uh time to get started again